Good morning, my name is Sissy Hooper. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I'm here to show you how to make this beautiful gift tag with Stampin' Up! products. You can find the details for the materials and the dimensions on my website at www.stampinwithsissy.net. Now let's get started. Let's start by using our beautiful Painted Harvest stamp set. Now these are watercolor stamps and they're two-step stamps. So you have a base and you have a top. And that gives you more dimension. So we're going to do the base of the flower with crushed curry. And when you're using these photopolymer stamps, you want to hold the stamp down on the paper for a few seconds so the ink can transfer completely from the photopolymer stamp. And there is your image. You notice how it's faded and that's the way it's supposed to be. It's a watercolor image. And when, so when you come, this comes together you'll see how beautiful it is. Now we're going to take our pumpkin pie and do the second step. Just want to center this. You'll find it's very easy to see through these stamps so you know where you're stamping. And there's no wrong way to do this particular stamp. Isn't that beautiful? And then for the center, we'll use chocolate chip. There's your beautiful flower. I like to clean up my stamps with baby wipes. And when I'm not using them, I put them in a little cup on my desk because I can't tell you how many times I have just laid it on the desk where I'm working and it's wound up on my work and destroyed my creation. So that's just a little helpful tip from somebody who does everything wrong the first and second and third. And Sometimes even fourth time. Okay, let's do the leaf. We're going to start with the detailed part of the leaf first. And then when we put the solid uh, stamp on top, we'll use a technique called stamping off with a scrap piece of paper. Now when we're doing our leaves, we want to put the leaves along the bottom like this because we're going to punch them out with a punch. And I'll show you what that looks like. If we put the leaves willy-nilly around here, you wouldn't be able to get the punch where it needs to go. So, Okay, now for the second step. Stamp off. go directly over the first image. If we didn't stamp off, you wouldn't be able to see the detail underneath. I'm going to go over that first one just a little bit more because I think you can barely see. It's a solid image. Okay. Now we'll stamp our sentiment in our chocolate chip. There it is.
The sentiment says, gather together and give thanks. Perfect. Now it's time to bring in our Sizzix machine. You can see I have the chocolate chip and the pumpkin pie papers already on my mat. The sandwich is your multi-purpose platform on tab two, and then your cutting plate, and then your dies, and let's cut the sentiment out so it will fit on here. And since the sentiment is so tight, I want to tape it with some washi tape. The washi tape doesn't stick permanently, and so I just want to make sure that I get the whole message in this frame. Then I'm going to top it with my second cutting mat and send it through. And I always send it through twice, especially if I have the detailed thinlets, just to make sure I get a clean cut. And now we are finished with the Sizzix. Now we need to punch out our leaves. Stamp, Stampin' Up's punches um, are really easy to store because they can lay flat. So you have to undo it from the bottom. Turn it over so you can see what you're doing. just punch out the leaves. And for the Sunday, for the sunflower, I just fussy cut this. You don't have to be exact, but I just like the look of having the petals all separated. Now we're ready to put our card together. Get my tape runner out. Put my flower down first so I can kind of get a feel for where I want the leaves. Get out my little mini blue dots. I saw this technique of taking the glue dots off and placing them on your thing with a piercing tool and it has been a life changer for me. My hands don't work as well as they used to and it's taken the frustration out of a lot of things. I want my flower to pop up and you can see that I practice on the other side of this. That's why it's nice we have two sides to our paper. the banner sentiment with the banner so that I could make it look more like a real banner. Just put 
put some glue dots on the end of each side. just place it on there so that both ends are stuck down. I wanted to add a little wink of Stella. I have a thing about glitter and bling. I like to add a little bit to most of my projects so I'm just gonna go along the orange here. I don't know if you can tell on camera but it just adds shimmer. And then I want to add a few of our new black rhinestones. That one's being stubborn. To the middle here. Like so. And there you have your tag. The only thing we have left to do is fill our bag. These are gusseted bags. And we have our designer series paper. We're just going to fold it where we scored, slide it in so that the short part is in the front and the part that is the seam is in the back, like so. Now all we have left to do is fill it with our candy. I chose candy corns because I love them and they're kind of a nice har uh, harvest themed treat and also um, they're gluten free so I can eat them. Then I take a little clip and clip this on. Um, this is a clip I've had around for years and years but Stampin' Up! sells some adorable clips that you can purchase on our online store. Then I added the ribbon I like to um, tie my bows or knots or whatever I'm doing with ribbon before I cut it whenever possible so I don't waste And there you have it, our adorable little harvest gift bag. I hope you enjoyed this video and will want to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you won't miss any future videos. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.